Suddenly he pulled up my sleeve and I stopped and looked down at him. And he asked me one thing. You wanna know what that was? He asked me if I liked him. <laughs> if I liked him. I got down on both knees and I squeezed him as hard as I could and I said, Leo, I'm your dad. You're my son and I love you. I love you more than anything. It's crazy, but I have never felt this good in my entire life. I mean, she's smart, and she's funny, and we go out, and we do interesting things. Jessica is making me see that there is more to life than work and CNN. Hmm? Hmm. And the sex. Oh my God, don't even get me started on the sex. She used to be a contortionist. She can do things with her body that I haven't dared imagine since I was 13. Hey, hey. Using just her toes, she can... Anyway. So we managed to have a closer look at the nature of the tumor. Now, as you can see, it's more hormone receptive than we thought, which means it's more aggressive. That means we have to move fast in the chemo. So I've referred you to a very good oncologist to discuss a treatment plan with her. Now, I have to warn you. Chemo can stop the ovaries from functioning for quite some time. So normally we would refer a woman of your age to a fertility specialist to discuss the possibility of freezing your eggs for implantation after the chemo is finished. But in your case, I wouldn't advise that. Anyway, my wife, she does not care. She is still living in Costa Rica with her yoga instructor. Guru Nando Hudel knows. And she only wears white now. And she menstruates on a plant. So there's that. 